Is this thing on? It hasn't been for quite a while, actually. Hey guys and girls, I'm Ari Ulisse and let's talk UX. I have to admit something here. It has been a bit quiet around me, but hey, I graduated from a Master of Science in New Media Design. So I can give now more founded advice of user experience, I guess, right? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Milanote and the user experience of Milanote. So I can hear you think, Milanote, isn't that just another organization product tool that we have like already 1000 of like Trello at <laughs> there is one thing that sets Milanote at least for my use apart and that this is way more official tool than all the other tools if you like me talking about the UX of products interfaces software or you name it or just want to follow me as a starting UXer in the world of design subscribe and subscribe to my Instagram channel we are UX See you over there, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna talk about Milanote in three chapters and chapter two is divided in three sections. One, one is what is Milanote? Then two, what are the user goals? So why should you use it and for what goal? And then three, the usability, is it usable? And then last but not least, should you adopt it or not? And that is basically the whole thing about this channel. I wanna make videos real user experience videos of how it is to use the product is it easy to use is it understandable to use is it fun to use and then the most important thing is has it an added value in your life let's jump in What is Milanote actually? On their own website they say it is an easy to use free tool to organize your ideas and your products into official boards. Now hey, that's something I really like. I'm a big visual thinker, so I really like if, if you can explain something to someone visually, if you can organize something visually, because then it sort of like clicks in, in, in my brain. You can use Milanote on your laptop, on your desktop PC, on your tablet, but also like two-in-one devices. And if you're gonna use it on a two-in-one device, it has something extra because you can also touch it and have the input of the normal mouse and keyboard. And I have to say, I have never experienced such a good progressive web app as Milanote. And as you guys know, I'm a big fan of progressive web apps. And I can hear you think for the people who haven't watched my other videos, what is a progressive web app. A progressive web app is basically an app that is progressive. It scales to your device. For example, if you have a big device, it scales to a big device. And if you have a small device, it scales to a small device. And it takes also into account what kind of input, for example, you have. On the Surface Pro that I have, that's a two-in-one laptop, you can also touch. And it really, really does respond very natively to touch. I've never seen this before on a Windows 11 device. Enough with the talk now, let's jump into the UX. As you see, I'm now at my computer, at my desktop computer, and we're gonna jump in to Milanote. I'm actually gonna display the user experience of Milanote by using it on my desktop PC, and also doing it on my two-in-one PC that you can actually see the added value of the touch input. You can see here at my taskbar that I have Milanote already pinned at my taskbar and that it sort of like acts like a real program slash app on my device. And the good news, it actually does function like a real program slash app on my device. And 
How do I get this? And I will show you one more time. You go to Milanote, already logged in. Then you click on this three dots here and then go to apps. And then it says here, do you want to install Milanote? And yes, I want to do install Milanote. Give it a couple of seconds again. Let's just check if it's true. Milanote, oh, there it is. And it's already pinned to my start screen again. And what we are now looking at is basically the whole planning sheet or the planning canvas visually of this video. A couple of lists here, a couple of inspirational lists, a story with no cards in it, filming, when I started filming and where, what gear should I use, uh, a photo, the structure of this video, firstly the introduction, what's your product, what's the use experience, and should you adopt it or not. And here, and that is the beauty of Milanote, you can basically create anything you want visually and line it out on your canvas. Let's roll back a bit and I'm just gonna show you how Milanote works. Um, we're gonna open a new board and everything responds to you. You can clearly see that, that when I hover over the mouse, that the response, like, hey, click on me, drag me. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna give you the name of the video, video. And you can see that Milanote gives this board the icon that it thinks has a relationship to uh, the description of this board. So now I'm gonna click on this board and you can see here on the right, that you can choose a template, but we're gonna discuss that a bit later. This is your creative canvas. You have all the freedom here in the world to organize anything that you want. You see here sort of like a toolbar on the left and everything you can that you see here you can interact with it and you can just like click on it and drag it to your board. And you see that it directly transforms to the thing that it's saying. So it says here that there's a note to do today. Also add a reaction here or change the color of the card. What you also can do is if you right click on the card, you can also give the top layer another color and like you see you can select anything and this also works with touch and this is the, the responsive organic feeling that Milanote has okay then next you can insert a link for example a touch news website then a to do and that speaks for itself I guess in a line this is the tool that I made the timeline with and a column and within a column, you can actually put in cards. So this is what Tra Trello normally does. You have here today, today. And then you can drag and drop a card to the specific column that you want. Um, but further, you can also sketch, add a color palette, and also add the documents. And heading, it's very handy if you're organizing stuff without a column, a video, a map, audio file, and that was basically it. But you can also add like an image, you can click on it, it has a built-in searching tool for Unsplash. So if I want to look up some photos from Volvo, I can just click and drag it here. But the very fun thing is that you can also drag something from your desk. And I want to input this Milanote logo. You can just import it or copy and paste it from your desktop. But you can also copy something from your clipboard. So if I copy this to my clipboard, copy, Ctrl V here, to select it. And you get sort of like your own clipboard within Milanote. And you can just drag and drop it to your file. And this is a very, very short, brief introduction to Milanote. Um, as you can see, and now we're gonna jump into the templates. And I already have a couple of templates set up. As you know, I'm a UX designer, and what we do as UX designers, we make personas. And the fun thing is that it can very clearly be done in Milanote. This is an example of a persona. And you see here, it has a bio, it has a photo, and it has her age, so that we designers know for who we are designing a tool for. But there are multiple ways that you can use Milanote. For example, to create a mood board for a design that you want. 
And you can see here that it's already been written on and you can do this with the surface pen or an iPad pen, but you can also do this with your mouse. And you just click here on draw. And yeah, my drawing is not so good with the mouse, but you get the idea, I guess. So let's try another new board, right? Okay, a new board. Um, and now you see here that when you open a new board, Milanote gives you like, hey, do you want to add start or just want to leave the canvas blank? Um, pa -ti -pa -ti -pa. A week plan, and you can clearly see here a week plan from Monday to Friday. We're gonna now switch to my Surface Pro, that's uh, the Windows 11 2 in 1 device, to see how it works on the 2 in 1 device. This is the same board as was on my desktop PC. For example, if I wanna open a board, I just click on it, drag and hold it, and release it, and it opens up here. But if I want to delete this, I can just hold it and take it to the trash. Another example, if I'm going to take you through a week planner, I have some tasks still left open from Tuesday. I can just touch it, hold it and move it to Friday. And you can see that it automatically um, recognizes the column of Friday. I've been asking Trello for years about this feature. And of course it works on iPad and Android devices, but a lot of devices, especially in work environments, are nowadays laptops with touchscreen. So for example, you're now in a standup meeting and you can just drag and drop. Another example, I'm, I'm just gonna take you back to the mood board and you can see here the same mood board as was on my PC. I'm gonna take my pen and I want this line to be blue, perfect. And I say, love this. And if I want to rearrange something, I can just touch it and rearrange it. And for example, if I want to add something, a column, etc., or a line, and I can zoom it in and out, I can also make something bigger, touch it, and can make it as big as you want. As good as this PWA is, the touch is not perfect yet. For example, if you open something, now let's go back to the mood board, you see that I sometimes have to click multiple times, don't know if that's a problem of my surface or a problem of, of the PWA, but let's just say I want to, these tiles to be aligned horizontally. There's no way to do this with touch, maybe with two, but it doesn't work yet. Something else that doesn't work is, for example, in a week planner, if I want to yeah, finish a task, normally you do this with mouse and keyboard by clicking it, it works perfectly, but here it doesn't work. And that's a shame, I guess. So I've shown you the hands-on experience on two devices of Milanote. There's also the mobile phone, which I'm gonna show you here right now. In essence, you can basically insert a couple of quick thoughts that you have, ideas, an image, but it's not as extensively as, for example, the desktop variant or the, the touch variant. And that takes a bit of the beauty away from Milanote, at least, for me. This is because on the desktop and on the tablet, the use experience gives off the whole vibe like, hey, this is the canvas. It is a white canvas with all those little dots in it. You can rearrange everything. You can express your ideas visually. And the mobile experience is just a bit yeah, narrowed down. And I do get why they did that. I did run into some problems there because I had to tell my participants very specifically to use Milanotes the board that I created visually, the whole package, looked the best on a laptop slash tablet device and it looked not at all like what I designed on a mobile phone. So, and now for the user experience assessment. I really loved working with Milanote. It has some vibe to it that it says like, hey, you can do anything you want. You can touch it, you can draw on it, you can create anything that you want. It gives you good templates to give you a head start because it can be a bit overwhelming, a big blank canvas, especially if you have no idea what you're gonna do as for a project. Design an interior of a house, then you can make a mood board. You can do some user testing as a user experience designer, or you can just work with the project group for your study. And that's one of the fun things that I also want to talk about. You can work together on the same canvas and you see each other's mouse on the canvas. And that is something I never saw before on another tool. 
So I really, really like the collaborative functionality that Milanote has. And one of the most important things about the user experience assessment of Milanote is, of course, the usability. Is the product usable? Is, is it easy to use? Is there a learning curve? Or could you just pick up and drag and drop everything and start with your mood board for your interior or your YouTube video or as a user experience designer? And could you just deploy it, for example, in a workshop? And the answer is yes, it is super intuitively. It isn't without reason why I use it for my workshops. And I only had like 30 seconds to one minute to explain it to them. I just gave them a laptop, said like, hey, this is the format and they could use it already. So I would definitely say that Milanote is intuitively. Then for the second part, is it useful to use Milanote? I would give Milanote also a pass on that. Like I already hammered on it again and again and again, Milanote has, has at least for me, such a creative feel to it that it fits in perfectly with the line of work that I do. Student groups want to organize a paper or a project or anything because it's, it's such a good organizer tool and because it's so usable and intuitive to use, it's also fun to use. And that brings me to my last part of usability. Is it fun to use? I mean, we need fun products in our life, right? <laughs> At least that's my opinion, but I really do find that we need fun products in our life. And with the touch, with the drag and drop, with the motion, if you pick something up, it's just all fun. And I will give Milanote definitely a pass on the fun part. Then for the last part, should you adopt it or not? What separates Milanote, at least for me and for my line of work, is that it sort of like gives off the vibe, sort of like a creative vibe. And because it's very intuitively to use, you can just pick it up individually or with the project group and you can just get back to work. And not only get back to work, but you can also do it in a very fun way. So therefore, I would give Milanote a pass. I also want to give a special thanks for Milanote and John from Milanote for letting me use the professional plan during my master thesis and that I could test it very extensively for a couple of months. The exciting thing is that Milanote offers all users a free plan up to 100 cards. So this was actually the first video in quite a while, as you guys know. Hey, but if you like my videos, if you like me talking about user experience stuff, if you have any ideas or feedback, please leave it down below and you would really help me if you subscribe because I'm just a new starting, growing channel. I'm actually restarting, I guess. So a like or subscribe or some feedback would help me very, very much. Thank you and see you in the next one.